Okay, question six. We have another big one here. So we have a right angle triangle, A, B, C. We are told uh, D is the point on the hypotenuse A, C, such that A to D is equal to A to B. So straight away, let's put point D there, then we know this length is the same as that length. Uh, we're told the area of triangle ABD is half the area of triangle ABC. We want to show that tan A is equal to 2 sine A. Right, okay. So, first of all, we're dealing with tan A. So, tan is opposite over adjacent. Now, to make things a little bit nicer, I'm going to call this base length X. So then we also know A to D is X. And I'm going to call the height um, B, C, I'm going to call it Y. So, we know then, tan A is equal to Y over X. Okay. We're told the area of triangle A, B, D is half the area of a, B, C. So, the area of A, B, C is base times height divided by 2. So that's going to be X, Y over 2. Now then, can we work out the area of A, B, D? Not as a number, but we can certainly get an expression for it. Remember, in a triangle, if you have an angle, theta, and we know the two side lengths, coming out of it, area is one half AB sine theta. So, the area of A, B, D and it's going to be one half times X times X sine of A so that's X squared sine A over 2 now we know that the area of a, B, D is half the area of the whole triangle. So from that we can say X squared sine A over 2 is one half of uh, X, Y over 2. Okay, so we could multiply both sides by 2 here, so we would get x squared sine 8 is equal to uh, xy over 2. So we could multiply 3 by 2 again, so we get 2x squared sine of A is equal to x, y. If we divide through now by x squared, we get 2 sine A is equal to x, y over x squared, which is equal to y over x, which Remember, 
was turned away. So, so, therefore, to sign A is equal to turn A. Come on. Okay, now part B wants us to show that the equation given in part A has two solutions for A between 0 and 90. So, turn of A is equal to 2 sine A. Turn of A is sine of A over cos of A. So, sine A over cos of A is equal to 2 sine A. At this point, it might be tempting to divide through by sine of A. Never do that, because we will lose a solution. And also, sine of A can equal 0. Dividing by 0 is illegal. Uh, let's multiply through by cos of A. So we get sine of A is 2 sine A cos of A. Let's get everything on the same side. So sine of A minus 2 sine of A cos of A is equal to 0. Factorise, we got sine of A times 1 minus 2 cos of A is equal to 0. Here we have two separate equations. So either sine of A is equal to 0, which would tell us A is equal to 0 in our interval, or 1 minus 2 cos A is equal to 0. So if we add it to cos A to both sides, we will get 1 is equal to 2 cos A divided by 2 would give us cos of A is equal to a half, so A is equal to 60 degrees. So our two solutions are 0 and 60. And part 2 of B says to state the solution which is appropriate in this context. So remember, A is an angle in a triangle. If A is 0 degrees, that makes absolutely no sense. So the solution that makes sense is 60 degrees. Cool.